What's up, everybody? Oh, 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 uh, get rid of that. Spoilers. Oh, oh, uh, there we go. Welcome, hello. Fix the camera. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna play some video games today. What's up, Smoo Ham? It's a hot Sharpie emote there. <laughs> Iron underscore Zoltan, Hazemaker64, good to see you guys. Welcome, one and all. It's my second day in a row streaming. I'm pretty happy. Oh. Always startles me. Thank you for the host. Uh, I got time off from work. Probably for the foreseeable future. So we're going to play some video games. I figure with Doom coming out soon. New Doom pretty soon was it like friday or something saturday we should probably play some games made by these two gentlemen some old games by john carmack and john romero because why not what better way to commemorate a big event because the new Doom is being like blasted everywhere, advertisements all over the place. It's supposed to be a big deal. And to be honest, I kind of want to play it. But first, let's play some old stuff. <laughs> Picture is powerful. That was the first thing that came up when I typed into Google John Romero and John Carmack. <laughs> uh, yeah, Commander Keen. Commander Keen 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't think they made Keen Dreams. They might have. But we're going to start off today with a little ditty called Legends of Murder. This, I know the copyright says 1993. I think, from what I can tell, this is a game that came out in like 1990, 1991 era. Because before they made id Software, the Johns worked for soft disk magazine soft disk publishing which is basically like a subscription magazine service except instead of magazines they'd send out literal little three and a half inch floppy disks put into your computer and they'd have games on them it's pretty cool one of one such game is legends of murder and according to moby games john romero worked on this that's the only thing I'm going off of. That's good enough for me. <laughs> so let's check out Legends of Murder. Um, now, since it was so, just like a, a disc, there's no box art to look at. I like to look at box art. I like to obsess over everything that's not the game before playing the game. We do have a little readme here. Actually, that looks like it's cropped pretty well. Commander Keen Zero, Super Mario Bros. 3 DOS prototype. Ugh. Uh, uh, that sounds pretty scary. Legends of Murder, though. This game does not sound scary. It sounds spooky, but not scary. It's a fantasy role-playing murder mystery game. You. Or its main character. It's awesome. <laughs> As the inspector, you've been summoned to a small castle near the harbor city of Erdwin to investigate the murder of the king. This castle, the site of the murder, is a day's journey across the northern sea from your own kingdom. Hired by the advisor of the deceased king, an elf named Ash, you set foot in the castle after a long journey across the sea. The game begins. Purpose. Your ultimate purpose in Legends of Murder is to discover the murderer of the king. Oh, you don't say. There are numerous riddles and puzzles to solve along the way, as well as many people to meet and places to explore. It's very important that you talk to everyone you encounter, search all rooms of the castle you enter, and make note of what you learn for later reference. The inspector has a number of personal attributes. So uh, yeah, basic stats here. I don't know if this game's like an actual RPG because it's got stats here, or 
if it's a fantasy role-playing murder mystery hybrid I guess we'll find out soon enough uh, what's up DJ Haig welcome <laughs> yeah it is a pretty Romero sounding title legends of murder So it looks like here's their basic stats. The higher they are, the better your character is. Pretty basic, if you ask me. Commands. Ooh, these might be important. I'm not going to read all of this. S is to search the area. Almost all visible objects can be searched, but you must stand directly in front of the object or in the closest accessible position. Z is a status. F1, this helps, so this is probably available in game. Casting a spell. Spells must be learned from special books. The higher a character's level, the more powerful the spell you can learn. Well, you can't even see that. That's kind of weird. Why is that botched like that? very confusing. OBS, why are you being weird? There we go. John Romero needs to stream more. Oh, does he actually stream? Dude, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> Probably streams as often as I do. Uh, here's some tips. Search everything, click buttons, do things. Legends of Murder 1, Stonedale Castle. There's a foreshadowing of maybe things to come there. Let's play the video game, though. Yeah, he has streamed. Oh, wow. Cool. I'll have to follow him. Let's get right into this. Ooh. Um, here we go. I don't think this game's got any music whatsoever. It might have a couple beeps and boops. On Disc Monthly presents Legends of Murder, Volume 1, Stonedale Castle. So he says, everything in the game says by this Jamie Schmaltz character. Moby Games tells you that Romero worked on it. So, yeah, it's good enough for me. Yeah, there's no music here. We'll go like this. Put some very faint, very soft doom music in the background. Turn it up just a little bit. Last stream three years ago. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he's, he streams a little bit more frequently than me. Or, that's the other way around. I stream a little bit more than him. Start the timer. Legends of Murder by Jamie Schmalz. You feel ill. Spending the morning at sea didn't help very much. You pull yourself together, realize that you don't even know where to go. An elf hired you, told you to come as soon as possible to investigate the king's murder of two days past. He obviously heard of your expertise in solving the Baldwin murder last year in 492. You know little of this elf, or the kingdom for that matter, other than one of the four men would rise to the throne if the king were to die. One of four men would rise to the throne. You also know from rumors aboard the ship that brought you here, the salt spray, the king was killed by sorceress means. Here we go, we're playing. He streamed Doom a year ago. Oh, that's right. I remember now when Strife came out. The level pack, or the wad pack. Because Romero actually made more levels for old Doom. And it came out about a year ago. Yeah, that, uh, it's ringing a bell now. 
there we go. There's us. We are six pixels. <laughs> oh, I love it. We are literally six pixels in the top left of the tiny window. So S will search. Oh, sorry. Stuff's getting caught up here. Search, you find nothing. I'm a fighter, level one. Condition is normal, strength is poor, dexterity is sluggish. Agility, unsteady, until intellect is average. Perfect health. 100% concentration, the dagger and robes. Here we go. Let's venture into Stonedale Keep. This is amazing. Oil lamps hanging from the domed ceiling illuminate the immense gray marble statue which dominates this room. Statues of a tall and noble looking man clad in armor. The plaque informs you that this is the recently deceased king. Let's search it. Find nothing unusual about the stone statue. Hey, what's up, base hole? Welcome. Okay, you can move a lot faster using the shift key. A guard bars your way and says, What is the password? That is incorrect. Okay, the password is not farts. A burly guard blocks your way. Visitors may not access these passages without a pass card, he says gruffly. So it seems like we can only continue to the north here. I need to find a password and a pass card. Along this hall are set in deep alcoves. Well, along this hall and set in deep alcoves are finely wrought suits of armor. They stand empty, and as you pass, you notice each suit is a small serpent painted on the left shoulder. Let's look at these. Peek inside the suit, find a lot of dust. Let's look at this one. Just a lot of dust. Okay, let's continue. This is obviously the ballroom. Beautiful crystal chandeliers hang from the ceiling far above. Bright sunlight falls through the high windows and across the white stone floor. In the far corner, a small group of minstrels play for the couple who dance gracefully before you. See, can't you see it? They're dancing gracefully. I wonder what that center window is going to be. Because it looks like the top right window is... Where's the minstrels? In the corner? The top right window is like people you're talking to. It's going to be in the center. Let's check out this room. This room is filled with tables and chairs, each stacked upon one another to the point of toppling. Looking past the mass of furniture, you see shelves along the back wall rising as high as the stacked tables. They seem to contain ornaments such as candles, ribbons, dried flowers, and other decorations. Squeeze under a table to look at the far corner, but you find nothing. So, thus far, our investigation has been totally fruitless. It's okay, we still have places to go. Huge stone statues stand near the walls of this dimly lit room. Looking at them, you understand that they were rulers of ages long past. As you look to the end of the hall, you see a shadowy figure staring into the stony eyes of one of the statues. Ooh, ooh. Let's check out these statues. Nothing. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Look at that pixel art. Torchlight reveals an unhappy young man who looks remarkably similar to the statue which he's staring at. Hello, the young man begins gloomily. I understand you seek the king's murderer. I'm Prince Morgan. I was asleep at the time of the death, so I can't tell you much. Maybe the guards can, but I heard that they were asleep also. So who killed my uncle? Well, Lord 
Charon or Karen? Charon is my bet. That pompous fool always wanted the throne, even when my father was ruling. He's a power-hungry demon, just as bad as the one that just died. I would put Lord Charon down in your notes as a likely suspect. Handy dandy notebook. Hey, happy birthday, Basehole. Congratulations on making it 30 years. Yeah, it's a pretty poor birthday present. Uh, if I were you, I'd ask for a, re a <laughs> refund. <laughs> return it or something. Hopefully they got a gift receipt. The kitchen. It's a clutter of pots, pans, and stacked with dishes. A fire pit over which a number of large pots boil furiously. fire pit over which a number of large pots boil furiously lies in the center of the room. Racks and cupboards line the north wall while a large counter fills the western portion of the room. To your right, you see a woman stacking dishes in a cabinet. Let's talk to her. Ooh, there she is. Before you, a gorgeous girl stacks plates and mugs in a large wooden cabinet. She looks back at you and smiles. Hi, I'm Sasha. You're the inspector, right? She inquires. Then with a wry grin, she says, Slinking about the castle, searching for clues, are you? Is, is that it? Oh, you can, you can talk to her again. You just have to walk off the tile and walk back onto it. Sasha turns to you and says, I sincerely hope you do find the murderer. I don't feel very safe in the castle now. Now that there's a murderer on the loose. Not sure if I can help your investigation very much, but I do recall one peculiar event on the eve of the murder. It was approaching midnight, and I was returning to my room when I saw a dark figure enter the hall to the chapel in the dragon's room. Okay. Sasha selecting spices from a huge jar of the back of the cabinet for the roast, she says. Through the mounds of spices. Uh, exhausted her dialogue. Uh oh, Haze Maker, you caught caught the death bug. Well, you can do what I do and just use it as an excuse to stay inside and play play video games more. <laughs> this seems to be a combination of pantry and bedroom. A small pallet lives in the far corner. Various shelves and cupboards cover the wall. Small cots and cabinets. Uh, yeah, it could take upwards of two weeks to manifest any symptoms, is what I have heard. Alright, let's go talk to the prince again. I realize, Inspector, says the prince, that I don't want to rule. I never had the lust for power that Lord Charon has, but if the crown was offered to me, I, I would accept it. I think that much could be accomplished here, and I might have to be the one to do it. Hmm. Oh, by the way, you may need the password! Asterisk. Thank you, Prince. 
Morgan sits here, leaning against the statue. Glares at you, and stares off in the shadows once again. So that's Prince Morgan. He doesn't seem like a suspect yet, but you can't rule him out. Yeah, I keep exploring this here castle. The room contains a number of large couches and chairs with a few huge pillows placed here and there. So I haven't found anything by searching yet. I just see a couple very small pixels. Small marble table. Rich tapestries and banners hang on the walls of either side of the room above handsomely carved chairs. They stand on the far end of a plush, deep red carpet, which extends toward a huge de dais. Dais? Of white and blue marble. Upon the dais sits an onyx throne, huge and majestic. Above and behind the throne is a banner of a white serpent. A man is grinning at you from a bench to the south. Hey, Gunstar Hero. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I did not look up anything about Jamie Schmaltz. Schmaltz? <laughs> I didn't do my due diligence. Oh, we got a Jester here. He prob he's probably the killer. The man before you bows deeply and says, Greetings, Lord Inspector. I am... As you see, Court Jester Sayor. I'm gonna write him down. I assume you're well on your way to solving the murder. That's not a very good jester voice. Well, I'm sure you don't need a jester's help, but if you just happen to get stuck, which I'm sure you will not, here's a little clue that may help your explorations. <laughs> What is this, like a ROT13 encryption or something? Let me write this down. WD MBTT WXE Zub SDF Comma, TMDF, WXE, FBVE, NDY, FZ, IC, WXCF, dot, 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 dot. Got it. I don't know how we pronounce that. Like, how do you actually speak that out loud? I'm not gonna bother decoding that just yet. That just seems like a very simple substitution cipher. WXE is obviously T-H-E, which means W's T. Because the first word's probably two. I'm sure D is O. It, it'd be, it wouldn't be too difficult to unscramble that. I'm not going to do that yet. We'll see if I get stuck. Find a small cord by the throne. Give it a tug to hear a gong sound in the distance. The Joker looks at you from across the room. I hope you realize that nobody will answer that. That's not a good Joker voice. Okay. If I talk to him again, is he going to give me another clue? Joker leaps up and bounds towards you. You got it, didn't you? No? Not yet? Well, that's alright. Pats you on the head. Keep trying. You'll get it someday. Yeah, he's a jerk, wad. So we still have more rooms to explore. Before you is the castle's dining hall. Beautiful oaken tables lined 
or lie bare, and the ornate chairs rest empty. Pale red curtains have been drawn back, and sunlight streams in across the cold stone floor. Searching, search the tables. Is that really all I can do is just S to search? Just walk around and search, yeah. That's all there is to do until I get into combat. There's gotta be combat somewhere. I mean, we have all these stats. What's the point of giving us stats if there's not gonna be any combat? Where's this? See before you an immense orb of crystal. You run your hand across the cool, smooth surface of the globe, and as you do so, small sparks of light begin to dance underneath your fingertips. Once you remove your hand, the lights vanish as quickly as they came. Interesting. Can I do that again? Yes, same message. Wooden pews fill the central portion of the chapel, all facing the plain altar, where a portly blue-robed man kneels. Three plain glass windows allow light to fill the room, which one would expect to be more richly furnished. Let's go find this portly man. Should be right over here. Oh, I don't like his smile. He's suspicious already. Rope man turns and stands as you approach. It is a pleasure to meet you, Inspector. I am the bishop of this castle. I see you're here for information, but not to pray. Well, I really don't know what to tell you. The king never acted cruelly to me, yet I know he was to others. He came to pray every once in a while, and he did keep the chapel going, if barely. Let's talk again. Hello again, Inspector, says the portly bishop, rising to greet you. I hope you didn't get the impression the last time we spoke that I was actually happy with the king. I was never pleased with his attitude toward people. He never gave to the poor. In fact, he continued to collect taxes from them. He would not help the cold or the old, crippled or sick, or even give money to tend to their needs. He was truly not a kind man. <coughs> yeah, that's you're not helping your case, buddy. Bishop greets you once again, produces a beautiful amulet from the folds of his robes. This amulet may help you in your search for the murderer. It is enchanted with a very subtle magic. Oh, inventory! <sighs> um, 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 inspector status. Did that increase my stats at all? No? I, now I just carry an amulet. Bishop looks up, smiles, and resumes his prayers. Looks like we've exhausted his dialogue. Young Friar sits at the desk, his back to you. Suddenly he turns about, his hood concealing his face in the dim light. Arrgh! He yells, falling back over the desk. The young man recovers quickly and cries, Don't ever sneak up on someone like that. Who are you anyway? You can't come in here. Please, go away. Let's talk again. Quickly the Friar turns about. Aha! I heard you coming this time. Now get out! Try it again. I mean it now, leave me alone. Try again. Friar glares at you. Why do you insist on bothering my studies? <laughs> Friar doesn't turn for several minutes, then, ah, oh, I can't stand it when people stare like that. Really getting under this guy's skin. Search him. You find a few notes and a couple of large books. Handwriting on the notes is so poor they can't be read. The friar jumps up, prepares to strike, but you are ready this time. You block his swing and counter with a fist to his jaw. He's out like a candle. Slumped unconscious on the desk. Alright, we're just beating people up now. He's easily excitable, and so we decide to beat him up. 
So there's a few notes and a couple of books, but the handwriting is so poor we can't read it. I don't know what that accomplished, if anything. Did I get... I didn't level up. Does the bishop have anything to say about that? No, he's just smiling. Let's check out the crystal ball. Uh, nothing new here. I was wondering if maybe the amulet would do something new. Oh, whoa, whoa. Huge body of a red dragon lies a mere 10 yards ahead of you. Seems to be sleeping. Its eyes are closed and its 40 foot long body lies still, curving around the corner ahead. The air is very warm and the room contains no lanterns or torches, yet it is very brightly lit. This seems like a good time to save. Save slot one. Let's go visit the dragon. Dragon's eye cracks open as it says, Tell me my name, speak it to pass. A basilisk? That is incorrect. Snack? Gotta learn the dragon's name. Okay, that's it for this corner. I think that's about everywhere now has been explored. Here's this, the prince, just standing here, looking at the shadows. There's nothing there. People dancing in the ballroom still. Yeah, all that's left to do is say the password to this gentleman. That is correct. What's this? Tall warrior. Ooh. Tall warrior looks down at you and says, You must be the man that the elf was talking about. I am Eric, captain of the guard. I can tell you who the murderer is. It's the wizard. I'm writing him down. Captain Eric. That scrawny mage killed him with his sorcery. Who else could it be? He's been seen only a few times in the last month. And then he was seen two days ago heading for the city. Later that evening, past midnight, two dark figures were reported leaving the castle grounds. One was supporting the other, most likely the wizard and one of his creations. There was a tapestry of a large, of a valiant knight, a bed, and a large man. Let's keep talking to him. Eric looks up as if he just had a thought. I also have other proof that the wizard did it. Two days ago, the prince, Lord Charon, and I went to pick up something very important for the king. I didn't see what it was, but I'm sure that it was magic. When magic is involved, so is the wizard. Eric scratches his head. I'm sorry, Inspector, but I can't recall anything else that might help you. Alright, that's that. So he thinks it's the wizard. Wizard I haven't met yet. So soldier thinks it's the wizard. The prince thinks it's Lord Charon. Everyone's blaming someone else. Voices fill this huge chamber. Small clusters of men talk or gamble while others relax on the small cots that are scattered about the room. All seem oblivious to your presence. Near each cot lies a small trunk, most likely containing the soldier's personal artifacts. Find a sturdy wooden chest when you attempt to open it. Oh. So we're in like the barracks here. The guard house. Looks like there's chests at the end of every bed. You can tell by the single red pixel. I can open them, but there's also guards here. It could be risky. I'll leave those for now. The room features a long bar and an impressive wine rack. There are a few stools around the bar, and the lanterns in the room give this place a warm glow. Oh. 
Bartender steps up to the counter. What can I get you? We have a mug or a pitcher of ale, a glass of wine, or a shot of whiskey. Or you may leave. Leave. It's no time to be getting drunk. Save my game. Now I can get drunk. How did I do that? How did I get to the bar? I wonder if that's one of those things you only have one chance to do it. I squandered it. There we go. Okay, let's start out with a mug of ale. Drink is quite good. Now we'll go to a pitcher. Also quite good. Let's get a glass of wine. It's quite good. Shot of whiskey. Quite good. Thank you, sir. Strength is now... Did my stats change at all? Poor and sluggish. Unsteady. Average. Poor sluggish and steady average. It doesn't doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, something happened. Start to feel ill. Okay. Oh, now I'm poisoned. Alcohol poisoning from downing an entire bottle of whiskey. It's likely not a good idea, so I'm gonna restore. What was that first message? If you finish your drink, the room begins to spin. Start to feel ill. Okay, restore. I don't think that's a good idea. But I think forcing these chests open is a good idea. A wee creature leaps from the chest as you open it. I will defend my master's possessions with my life. It squeaks as it attacks. Here's the combat. You face a dragonfly. You're in perfect health. Concentration 100%. Will you fight, run, or cast? Fight. You thrust at the dragonfly. It receives a, a minor wound. Fly stabs me. Fight. 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 You killed it. Find a tome called Secrets of Combat. Read it? Sure. It's quite interesting reading. Find leather armor. Trade your armor for it? Sure. Find a partially eaten sandwich. Yeah, I'm going to eat that. Other than the bits of mold, it's quite tasty. Crimson colored potion. Drink that too. Tastes like strawberries. I leveled up twice. This is very bizarre. So either the sandwich or the potion healed me. Maybe both of them did. Alright, let's just continue opening chests. Wee creature. A major protector. Fight. Lunge at the major protector and its armor deflects your weapon. Graze me with a dart. You lunge at the major protector, it receives a minor wound. If he sprays a greenish liquid at you, you evade the foul liquid. Just keep fighting. I don't really have any other options. Both missed. Grazed him. He grazed me. I killed it. Find a small ivory box. Open it. Yes. Tiny creature springs out and attacks. Freaking clay. Go oh, freaking clay golem. Startled me. Look at this sweet artwork for every enemy. I don't think I can kill this guy. I have no knowledge of spells to cast. We're just going to fight him. You strike at the clay golem and its armor deflects your weapon. 
The little guy throws a spear. <laughs> so we open up a chest. Inside the chest, there's a small box. We open up the box, and there's a dude chucking spears at us. This is awesome. Stabs, it grazes me. I'm severely wounded. I might die. Nope, I killed it. Discover a small dagger which drips a pale green liquid. Take it in exchange for your own weapon. Yeah, sure. Dusty bottle containing a dark liquid. Yeah, let's drink it. Sky blue. Uh, drink, drink everything. Oh, I got poisoned. So one of those bottles I drink poisoned me. So I should probably reload and try it again and test which bottle does what. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna keep opening chests. Let me play Golem. I'm near death. I killed that though. Clear liquid, drink it. Silver dagger. How do I know if a silver dagger is better than my poison dagger? I'm gonna leave it there. Scroll. Read the strange words and nothing seems to happen. Sparkling dust. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what any of this does. Oh, my stats are going up slightly. I'm also about dead. Open the chest. A sprite warrior. Let's just fight him. The room spins as you fall to the floor. Everything goes black. Seems like a moment later you wake. You see no sign of the creature you're fighting, but you feel very weak from the battle. Can you not actually die? Hmm. Skellington. That is a very good skeleton. A bone demon, even. I can't even survive one turn in battle. I think I'm poisoned. Plus, I'm, like, just dying and reanimating this thing again. Minor protector. There's probably... This is basically, like, a puzzle. And I feel like there's a certain order that I should go through these chests... What's this? A seeker. I mean, how do I know if a seeker is stronger than a minor protector? Or maybe this is a weaker monster than a minor protector. Maybe the bone demon's the weakest. What's this thing? Freaking zombies just hiding in treasure chests. What's going on? Fight. ghastly figure looms before you and says tell me what is rarely full sometimes new moon that is correct circular stone staircase here leads down into darkness I need to find out how to heal. <laughs> if there's a way to do so. Maybe that crystal ball will heal me. Two massive men step about each other gracefully. Both men bear wooden swords, which they swing at each other with deadly accuracy, while the other men watch on. It seems to be the training area. Search. back here. Anything in this nook? Um, 
So I've got all these chests here in the basement. That's all I can do. I'm gonna go all the way back here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh, the dancing couple. Oh, you can actually talk to them. Good afternoon, says the man as you approach. You must be inspector. I am Lord Talmar. This is my wife, Lady Nishia. Writing down their names. As to the murder of that evil man, I can tell you that no one weeps over his death. We don't know of anyone who would actually kill him. Keep, keep talking. It's for the night of the murder, begins Lady Nishia. Nishia. You retired early and slept until someone shouted for the guards to come. Talmar begins to fidget nervously. But, he interrupts his voice a bit shaky. For, for information, go to the Joker. I'm sure he'll talk your ear off, although it may just be with riddles and his tales of the high adventures he and his sister had before they settled here. Hmm, suspicious. Hello again, says Lord Talmar, looking much more relaxed now. I thought you might be interested to know, since you come from a foreign land, there are four men of which one will soon be elected to rule this land. I, Lord Charon, the Prince, and the Wizard are the men who will be voted on by the public. Whoever receives the most votes will be the new king. Interesting. Democratic monarchy. Wasn't aware of such a thing existing. The couple stops dancing and walks up to you. Uh, I've been meaning to tell you that... Oh, this is the, the woman. I've been meaning to tell you... But two or three days back, there was a lot of talk about something down at the harbor, says Lady Nicia. Later that day, Eric, the prince, who's Eric? Eric's the guard captain. And Lord Charon came back from the harbor and went directly to the king. The prince was carrying two black boxes. The couple continued to dance, but seemed a little tired. Man, that's, it's really easy to miss those people. I have to step on a very specific set of black pixels in a big black room <laughs> in order to talk to them. Uh, Morgan's just staring at the wall. Do I want to come up to this crystal ball and see if maybe this heals me. No, I'm still dying and poisoned. Maybe the bishop will heal me? Nope. The guy's still knocked out. Alright, I guess we're going down to the basement. It's cold here in the catacombs. The walls are damp. A faint smell of decay fills the air. A sparse torchlight leaves much of the room cast in shadows. You realize that the object in front of you, reaching to the left under the shadows, is actually a huge carving of a serpent. And now also see into the alcoves, which contain large black stone coffins. Oh, dude, that's cool. Is this going to be more combat? Nothing of interest. Okay. Searching the snake, don't seem to find anything. Ooh, coffin's closed while you open it. You have to stand on the magic pixel to open these. More combat. I 
I think I might be in an unwinnable state because I cannot win. Hulking figure materializes as you open the chest. Steal from my master, face my rat. It bellows as it attacks. I can't even survive a single turn of combat. Gray zombie. Can I open these chests in here too? Or these coffins? I was staying like right. Right there. No, these ones might not have a magic pixel. song is this? I get the feeling I need to reload my game and figure out the the puzzle of how to do the combat so let's go back upstairs so we have one two three four five six seven eight different chests to open it's eight different monsters to fight so i'm going to draw this out and make a diagram here can do this very methodically so we have top left is one directly below that is two and there's three to the right four we got five and then that's like six seven Um, I can also, might as well take a minute to decode this clue that I got. So that's the clue that I was given. So let's decode this. I'm assuming that it's two. Oh, this freaking notepad. That's gonna be the, the, those all W's or T's. That's a T, X is H, D is O, this is an awkward way of doing it, but it'll work, E is E, there's no other E's, to blank the blank, blank the blank, blank the. Now is there an order in this? 
No, it seems to be random. If E is E, though, yeah, then it can't be in an order. Hmm. Oh, there's another E here. Call the dragon. I'll try that. Just a guess here. I don't have tea yet. Oh no, I do. El Elkan? Well, that doesn't make any sense. dragon but it might be because there is a dragon in this castle and we need to figure out his name to name the dragon no see this should be a pretty easy word to figure out double t's it's either t's or either l or s because very few other letters would ever be doubled up say it's L and then just fill in T's for L that doesn't give us too much though kill the dragon that might work it's MB except it doesn't Mill the dragon to sell the dragon. I don't even know. I'm stuck on dragon. It might not even be dragon. The only thing I feel pretty good about is the. <laughs> two, two makes sense. That's about all I feel good about. Kiss the dragon, it could be. You see, these two letters are repeated right here in the middle of a sentence, in the middle of a word. It's a K-I in the middle of a word, doesn't really work out. Not in the middle of a four letter word anyway. Put that right there for now. Um, I'll go like this. Put this right over here for now. Let's think about that. Let that stew in the back of my head. Hey, what's up, Duke? Mr. Dugnut, welcome. 
Welcome to this amazing game, Legends of Murder, in which you play as six pixels right here. <laughs> I am just enthralled by design choices like this. Uh, I need to restore though. Uh, restore game two. I made the mistake of just recklessly in entering into combat and fighting a bunch of monsters. I need to do this much more methodically. So we're going to start with this encounter right up here. Top left, number one. A weak creature leaps from the chest as you open it. I will defend my master's possessions with my life. It squeaks as it attacks. So, one equals sprite warrior. And we're going to fight him. Okay, I missed, but he missed. My armor absorbs the blow, but I missed. I grazed it, it grazed me. I grazed it, it grazed me. Minor wound, but it stabbed me. Armor, armor. He throws a spear at me. I'm critically wounded. He, he killed me. So, restore. So it seems to me like Sprite Warrior is not a good enemy to fight first. But let's actually save. And just try it again. Because as far as I can tell, combat is literally just a dice roll. You say you want to fight and then we'll see what happens. So let's just go like this. Oh, he's going to beat me. Yeah, okay. So we can't do that one first. Now I was able to do this guy down here. This is chest number two. This has a dragonfly. To something the dragon, then the name. TMBF could be name. If TMBF is name, that means MB equals AM. And you have AM something something. Is that second word? Skin the nice round myth. <laughs> I'm not sure about dragon. It could be. But that was just a wild guess. To ask the dragon? Come on, Basil. We don't need to ass any dragons. Let's fight this dragonfly here. Let's ask this dragonfly. So he, that, that guy was easy. He goes down very easily. We're going to read the book. We're going to take the leather armor. Sandwich, I'm going to leave there. Potion, I'm going to leave there. Because now if we search, the sandwich and the potion are still there. Perfect. Uh, check my character stats. I'm only light, lightly wounded, but I've leveled up twice. Got better armor. So now, with the healing item still there, let's save slot three. Let's go to this chest here. This is the major protector. I'm gonna run from the major protector. Okay, he hit me, I'm just gonna restore. What was this chest up here? This is clay golem. fight this guy. I think this guy's easy. But he just about killed me. But he died pretty quickly. A clear liquid. Silver dagger I will take. Old scroll. Let's read it. 
Sparkling dust, leave there. So now I'm critically wounded. If I have a better weapon. I think my intellect went up, my agility went up. It's hard to say, I'm not really paying close attention to my stats. I need to heal, so let's open, let's eat this partially eaten sandwich. Leave the potion there, check stats. I'm still critically wounded, so I don't know what the sandwich did. Drink this potion. That one healed me full, okay. So let's restore. I'm gonna leave, whoops, gonna leave the sandwich. Drink the potion, so now I'm full health. Let's check out this chest. Minor protector. See, minor protector I should be able to defeat. Considering I've already beaten a major protector in my last save. Yes, I am writing down every single one of these monsters and their, and their location. And enter to the... the Base, you're, you're starting to confuse me. Fight, fight, fight. He is gonna beat me. He beat me. Oh, I got bested. Let's go over here. Seeker, maybe I can fight this guy. Seeker just crushed me. So what combat can I do now? This one? What was this? Zombie. I think we should be able to kill a zombie. Nope, he annihilated me. What is going on? Wait, this is only my level 3 save. Wait a minute. This is my level 4 save, okay. I mean, I've beaten this major protector before. Oh, I went into combat critically wounded. Let me test out these potions. We have a clear liquid, sparkling dust. So I'm at poor, sluggish, average, average. Do the dust. Poor, sluggish, average, average. So dust increases your dexterity. So that's a good one. Clear liquid, let's drink that. Poor, average, 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 normal. It just said it was water and it refreshed me. I'm still severely wounded, so I don't think that's worth doing. Right, it healed me a little bit. I went from critically up to severe. So that's just a small heal there. Dust I want, yes. Save my game again. We saw the sandwich here. Let me eat the sandwich again and double check to see if it actually does nothing. I'm still critically wounded after eating the sandwich. The sandwich seems to be a total waste. I'm going to leave it there. Drink my full heal. Save. Yeah, slot 5. And I, I need to win one of these combats. I've cleared out 2 and I've cleared out 3. Four, 
five. Eight is zombie. Seven. What, seeker? What was seven? Yeah, seven was the seeker. He crushed me. He annihilates me. What was, what's six? What's this guy? Bone demon. Okay, that's right. See how this guy is. I haven't tried fighting him. You lunge at the bone demon and you graze the creature. The creature gazes at you. Wonder why it gazes at you so. Could that be because of the amulet? No, oh, he killed me. I can't seem to kill any of these. Let's try this again. He didn't gaze at me this time. He just crushed me. Oh, now it gained. Oh, I killed it. <clears throat> Find a stiletto. Find studded leather armor. Jar of sky blue liquid. So yeah, it's just luck if I win these battles or not at this point. I'm sure some are. I mean, obviously some are easier than others, but it's just total luck. So we're going to save again. This will be slot six. We'll test out these items here. Let me check my stats first. Poor, average, 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 dying. Drink the liquid. Oh, that's just water. So that just bumps me up one status. I'm no longer dying. I'm now near death. Small heal. Weapon, armor, sky blue liquid is very bitter. That poisoned me. So I definitely do not want that. Concentration's up to 110, though. Oh, my concentration's already 110. So we'll drink the water, take the weapon and the armor, leave the sky blue liquid in there. Come back up here. Wasn't there water in this one too? Yeah. Clear liquid, drink that water as well. So I'm up to critically wounded. And let's try and fight this guy. And he killed me in one hit. Pass the dragon. You know what? That makes that makes sense, please. To pass the dragon. But then that fifth word, something P A something, something P A N. The S P span. That's a, that's a real word. I think you're onto something there, Mr. Hole. Because this is now span. Span the hole? Span the name, I would guess.
Oh, I have D. D is O. It's gotta be name. That doesn't make much sense. How do you span a name? N, Y, I, and C. Four letters, all different, none used in any of the earlier words. <laughs> Span the name pound. Could be round. Hmm, it's a mystery. I'm still trying to solve this mystery of how the hell combat's supposed to work. It seems like I'm just getting annihilated. Oh, it moved on. That was the end of the playlist there. Let's get some more Doom music. So I feel like this isn't good. I've what won three three different battles, but I'm critically wounded. Unless I find another full heal somewhere. Let's try this minor seeker up here. Minor protector. Killed me. Let's try this again. Killed me in two hits that time. Got him. We got a vial of greenish liquid, sparkling dust. Yep, I want some of that again. Sandwich? No. Platinum cube? No. Okay, let's save. So we're up to quick dexterity now. My strength is still poor. And I'm like dead. Dying. One hit and I die. So let's hope the greenish liquid heals me. Strange minty taste to it. Still dying. That upped my strength. So it didn't heal me, but it increased my strength. Uh, let's save. We have sandwich, no. Let's open this cube. Glows brightly for a moment and fades. You now feel terrified. My condition is frightened. I don't think that's a good thing to do. I don't think it's good to be terrified. Eat the sandwich. But now what? That I didn't get any healing from that. So I just have to hope that I can kill one of these enemies without getting hit at all. It's come down to just a complete dice roll. Save. So we get zombie here.
I don't, even, I don't know if I even need to restore. If it hits me once and I die. But if I die, I come back to life in the exact same state that I was at. So it's, I'll just keep brute forcing this. This, this is, this is a giant waste of time. Seeker. I got him. Chainmail armor, definitely gonna take that. Short sword, definitely take that. Stiletto, no. What else was there? Small golden, golden horn, blow it. So average, quick, average, average. Let's blow the horn. A clear note rings out. Average, quick, average, average, dying, normal. Did my concentration go up or that, was that by leveling? Um, letters only used once. I would have to assume so. Oh wait, letters only used once. No, some of them are in there twice. I'll set that down, wound, letters for vowels. Yeah, C. Yeah, it has to be a vowel. I. Within? Something within. Something's found within. Span the name found within. Span just seems out of place. But the rest makes sense. To pass the dragon, say the name found within, span the name found within. That makes, that kind of makes sense. Oh, there should be more, yeah. Welcome, Silo. I didn't talk to the, the jester all the way through. I only talked to him a couple times and left because I didn't want to get a whole bunch of hints. Uh, let's save here. So that was the seeker dead. I'm still one hit away from dying, which is not a good place to be, but let's try and kill some more enemies. And just brute force the combat. Hope for a full heal potion. Save right here. So I haven't fought in the sprite warrior. Uh, uh. I'm dead. See if I get lucky, my armor will absorb the blows. Killed it. And it might accumulate damage then throughout the multiple combat instances there. He keeps killing me. I just keep rising up, landing one more hit, then dying. Waking up, landing one more hit, and dying. <laughs> Let's blow the horn. I don't know what that does. Greenish liquid. I forget this. This is the strength, isn't it? Yeah. Platinum cube frightens me. Corked gray bottle. That's a new one. Yeah, now I'm up to strong. I don't know what blowing that horn does. It doesn't directly affect my stats. Platinum cube will frighten me. Let's try this bottle here. Mist flows from the bottle, solidifies beside you. The creature attacks. Bone demon, all right. I had one chance to fight the bone demon. So we're gonna fight the bone demon. Uh, if they even graze me, I die. This is not a good not a good situation here. Mm, dead.
I killed it. One shot. So I wanted to do that just to get the level up. So now I'm up to level 9. And I still have two more chests I can brute force my way through. This seems like a very, very poorly designed area of the game. Killed it. I'm up to the point where I can kill pretty much anything if I land a solid hit. Small ivory box. Opening this gets me to another encounter. Poison dagger. See, I don't know if a poison dagger is better than a short sword. Should I keep the short sword? I'm going to assume the short sword's better just because it's a longer weapon. So I'm going to leave the poison dagger here. Dusty bottle containing dark liquid. I'm not sure about that one. Sky blue liquid, not sure. We're going to save. Save on slot 9. Dark liquid. Drink it. Manage to cough foul tasting liquid. Average, quick, average, average. I don't think that did anything. No, that decreased my strength. Screw that. <laughs> Got to reload. <laughs> That's just mean. Uh, sky blue liquid. Let's drink that. It's very bitter. Strong, quick. That poisons me. So nope. Don't want that. Let's open this box and fight the golem. Killed it. That's it. Leveled up again. Yeah, the graphics in this are really cool. I cannot get over the fact that I am six pixels. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, no, let's save. Here we go. Last combat here. Zombie. He killed me. Zombie. I killed it. Fine banded armor. I don't remember what I have now, so let's leave that there. Rapier. That's got to be better than a short sword. Sandwich. Yeah, sure. Large sealed bottle. No. I currently have chain mail. I think banded armor would be better than chain mail. I'm not a medieval expert by any stretch of the imagination. But chain mail is like good against piercing weapons. Because the chains don't get pierced. Banded mail would be like better against clawing of monsters. That's sure. That's my logic. We're taking it. Large sealed bottle. Let's save. And open this bottle. Oh, it's another monster. A djinn. Ooh, fight. Fight. He killed me. And now he's gone forever. I want to win this fight to be at as high a level as possible. He killed me. <laughs> oh, he cast Fireball! He killed me. This thing's tough. He killed me. Hey, go easy on the bots there, Basil. We'll let the, the mod take care of that. He's just a bot. He doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know if it's worth fighting this guy. I mean, I'm sure eventually... I, I miss more often than I hit it. That was a solid blow. Oh, I killed it. Okay. Never mind. Up to level 13. Lucky level 13. <laughs> $17 for a follower. <laughs> oh. That is a bad deal.
a ghastly figure looms before you and says, Tell me what is rarely full and sometimes new. Very difficult puzzle. So I've survived all the chests. The only issue is I am one hit away from death permanently. Unless down here there's going to be some healing. So we're going to save, open the coffin, and we have a gray zombie. You strike at the gray zombie, delivering unspeakable damage, zero bonus. What does that mean? Longsword. Yes, I want that. Banded armor. I already have that. Okay, no heals. But level 14. Let's check out this one. Skeletal warrior. This is such a good skeleton picture. Killed me. Creature touches you. You suddenly feel cold. Um, didn't seem to do any long-lasting damage. Killed me. Killed me. It killed me. Killed me. I don't know if I can kill this thing. I'm just gonna keep rolling the dice here. I don't think I can kill this guy. We'll come back to him. Just a normal Skellington. Killed me. Got him though. Scimitar. It's a scimitar better than a longsword? No? Chainmail. Crimson colored. Oh, I think this is a full heal. Broadsword. <laughs> Tastes like strawberries. That is full heal. Perfect health. So now let's waste all of that health on this, this guy here. Oh, I killed it in one hit. Broadsword, scale mail, sky blue liquid, yes. Because that's... Poison. Restore. Hopefully I kill it in one hit again. Doesn't have anything good. Lightly wounded. I can go with that. So that's everything down here. I have no idea where else to go now. I'm probably going to have to go back to the Jester. Get the rest of the clue. And decipher that. Deciphering the rest of the clue should go much quicker than the first half. Because we already had the first half to work off of. Doesn't seem like I can open these chests here on the left side, or these coffins on the left side. No, I don't think you can. They've got like a, a big S on them. Can't open the big S. I don't think you can examine this snake either. Is there nothing in these empty little nooks? Hmm. 
I don't see the purpose of the downstairs. I don't... Doesn't seem to be any purpose to this. So let's go up. And head back to the Jester. I spoke to this guy all the way. Yeah. Along this hall, set in the alcoves are finely wrought suits of armor. They stand empty. Each suit is a small serpent painted on the left shoulder. There's the snake underground. There's the S's on the coffins. Now these suits of armor have snakes painted on them. Oh, he's down here. Save. The Joker leaps up and bounds toward you. You got it, didn't you? No, not yet. Well, that's all right. He pats you on the head. Keep trying. You'll get it someday. Oh, yeah, there's more to it here. Hi, did you get it yet? Asks Sayor. Well, I'm sure that with your vast wisdom that you did, but on a very remote chance you did not solve it. Well, here's the other half of the clue. Oh, what a turd. W X C T A D Z E C F E W D E B F Z E F W E U W W X E V B S E apostrophe T A X B V L E U T. W X C T B what T H I this A D Z E I don't have the letter A yet. But we have something O D E is code. Maybe code, possibly. It's code in A to E. E F Z. Gotta be R. Yeah. B S E. AXB L first time seeing the letter L
Wait, what am I doing? Using the X X E. No, uh, yeah, X H, not E. Chambers. Hey, quick save. Um, this code is, yeah, it's in-game. This gesture here is giving me a encrypted passphrase or something. I mean, an encrypted clue, and I just have to kind of figure out what he's actually saying. So the top line he gave me earlier, and then we translated it as best we could. It seems to fit. There, I, I don't know where the key is. I don't think there is a key. You just have to just play around with it and figure it out. <laughs> Spam the name found within this code in A to E. How does that make any sense? And enter the mage's chambers. See, everything fits, just the word span seems out of place. I don't understand how you'd span the name found within this code. I don't see a name anywhere in this code. And what's it mean to span the name in A to E? Huh. Well, let's just put that off to the side for now. Keep that in the back of our heads. <laughs> hey Eric, audio Eric, welcome. Welcome to Legends of Murder. I'm just going to keep talking to this guy. Seriously now, begins Sayer as he winks at you. I was asleep at the time of the murder. Uh, yeah, Duke, there's multiple proper names. I don't know if I have a name for the mage yet. In fact, I don't have a name for the mage. He's just been called mage or wizard. But this is Sayor the Jester. I was asleep at the time of the murder, and I have no idea who might have done it, but I'm glad to see him dead. Now the new king, will probably be the prince, can rule this land a bit more justly. So basically, the king got murdered. We're sent here as an investigator to figure out who done it. We don't know who done it. We know he died by magical means. There's four people that will ascend to the throne based on a vote now that the king's dead. There's the king's son, Prince Morgan. There's the Lord Charon. I haven't met him yet. I haven't talked to him. There's another Lord Talmer who's just dancing off in a ballroom. He acts real nervous when you talk to him. His wife kind of covers for him, so I'm kind of leaning towards him. And then there's a fourth person. The wizard could ascend to the throne. But apparently in this kingdom, once the king dies, they vote on the next king. Doesn't make... I've never heard of that before, but again, I'm not an authority on medieval history. Nobody likes the king. No one's really sad to see him go. Apparently he was a really bad king. Joker looks up to you. Do you know that today would have been the king's 50th birthday? Isn't that funny? He dies just two days before his birthday. Let's keep talking to him. Joker's here practicing his flips and tumbles. It looks like we've exhausted his dialogue. Um, am I sure my translation or span could be like tell or speak or something? It could be. I'm not. <laughs> I wasn't at first sure of the translation whatsoever because it was literally just guess a word and then see if the letters fit in else anywhere else. But yeah, now that we have the second part of the phrase, all the letters make sense. Yeah, what syllogism said, exactly. It just 
it's a weird word to use, but it could be like you're saying, like an old usage of it. I, I don't know. Uh, let's re-talk to this lady up here. Picking through the mounds of spices. Oh, okay, there's Sasha. That's another person. Just as you enter the room, you hear a crash from down the hall. You turn to see a bald man with a dark beard storm out of the kitchen and rush down the hall leading north. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Save. Let's go north. Is he going this way? Is he out here? Where'd he go? Is he hiding in the storeroom here? No. And this is pretty devious. There is an NPC in this room I'm standing in, believe it or not. <laughs> to find them, you have to stay, walk right over here. I don't know if I missed them. I go up a couple pixels. Nope, go down one pixel. No. They're like right here in this corner, or in this area. Oh, This is obviously the ballroom. Nope, nope. They were here earlier. There they are, see? <laughs> That's pretty mean. Oh, these guys are repeating their dialogue. I've already heard all this. Yeah, I already heard all that. I don't know what that crashing noise was. Prince is right here. He's just staring off into the shadows. Now, as far as things let yet to do, up here in this room, if we head to the north, a huge body of a red dragon lies mere 10 yards ahead of you. Seems to be sleeping, its eyes are closed, 40 foot long body lies still, curving around the corner ahead. The air is very warm, the room contains no lanterns or torches, it's very brightly lit. So there's a dragon here. The clue the jester gave us directly relates to how to pass the dragon. Tell me my name, speak it to pass. To pass the dragon, you have to span the name found within this code in A to E. And enter the mage's chambers. Um. Span the. Enter the mage's chambers. So the, this has to be a clue for the dragon's name. It's found within this code. So what does in A to E mean? Just drop all the letters except for from A to E? What? Found within this code. A to E.
It's an American gladiator. What? <laughs> I feel like it's something simple that I'm just missing here. Yep, this is, has my tiny little, tiny little brain. It's been twisted into a pretzel. Hey, what's up, Gangrel? Gangrel EU, welcome. It's nice teamwork there. Maybe it's mega. It's incorrect. It's nothing. Span makes me think <coughs> involves both halves of the code. Something from the first half and something from the second half. You'll find the name within this code, taking parts from each half. It's just the N A to E is what throws me off. I don't know what in the world that could be referring to. Does that mean substitute the word the letter A for the letter E? Probably not, because that doesn't make any sense. In A to E, only look at the first five letters to pass. No. A, B, C, D, E, E, A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> oh, we find an A and an E. B, C, D. So B, C, D spans A to E. What's B, C, D in this code? That's A, I, O? No. Do A, B, C, D, E. A is C, 
C A I O E Chower? What? A B C D E. C A I O E. Maybe we need to go the other way around. Yeah, maybe I need to go this way to blaze. Okay. Sorry, base, your clue didn't help me a whole lot. I don't remember the American Gladiators very well. <laughs> I just remember giant toothpick battles. But thank you. I appreciate the, the lack of spoiler, just the gentle nudges. Whew, did it. Save. So this is the mage's chambers. Circular stone so I can't speak. Circular stone staircase here leads up. I'm not gonna take that. Check out this other room first. There's nothing in this other room. Explore all the black darkness. Okay, let's go up. Uh, staircase down. Window is shut and secured from the inside. Find a rectangular metal card that has pass written on it. That was very lucky. Look at this. There's room for nine different items. I only have two. At the same time, I've explored almost the entire real estate of this castle. Uh, let's save. It seems to be the wizard's research library. Walking among the shelves of dusty old book and tables. Du uh, walking among the shelves of dusty old book. <laughs> and tables cluttered with notes and yellowing paper. Begin to feel that someone is watching you. The shelves of dusty old book. <laughs> There's a pillar. A book titled Nogman's Law. A book titled Sorcery. <gasps> Learn a spell. Cast. Heal. Heal a single wound. Cast. Heal. Heal a wound. Cast. Wait. None. Cast. Heal. Heal a wound. Perfect health. Boom. Boom. My, that dropped my concentration though. Game is now easy. Mystic Arts. Learn a spell that allows you to create a glyph of protection. Allows you to cast forth a blazing globe. The title of the book you find is obscure. You can't quite make it out. Sorcery. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I got so excited there. So excited to check out the this new area. I forgot the... The UI is this big, or the game window's that big, I had it covered. I apologize, sorry. Seven rights. You learn a spell allows you to slow your adversary's movements. Learn a spell allows you to hurl a mystical spear. Let's just keep reading these books. Blind your adversary, restore all wounds. Any other spells? I think that's it. Uh, read the third paragraph. <laughs> this an Icelandic born Blaze was accepted into law school, practiced criminal law. Controversially, she married Rodney Mitchell in 1991, who was part of a rival medieval team to led athletic te television show Knights and Warriors. It was known as Nightmare the Duke of Gloom. Poorly met. Blaze working as a trainer to the gladiator contenders. <laughs> Strange world they live in. Nogman's Law. Let's 
Man, I wish the gyms weren't closed. Then I could continue my training to become an American Gladiator. Sadly, everything's closed. It can't happen. You give your eyes a moment to adjust to the darkness. You soon see some movement to the south, beyond it a shabby little pallet. Far across the silent room you see a robed man sitting before a desk. He reads a large book by the light of a single candle. On the desk and shelves above, many strange apparatus, along with hundreds of herbs, tomes, potions, and vials. Save. Let's go into this room first. Featureless black stone door before you has no handle, keel, or hinges and will not open. Inside of a pentagram chalked on the floor is a rather unusual creature. Its eyeballs poke about, obviously observing you, yet at no time does any part of its body extend beyond the circle, enclosing the pentagram. Hmm. Strange things are afoot in this circle K. Save. Let's speak to the wizard. Ooh, look at that wizard! Dude, he has no eyes! So the wizard is who the captain of the guard suspects killed the king. I, the king was also described as being killed by magical means. I think that's kind of a red herring. It's likely not the sorcerer, but again, I should probably just go into this with an open mind. Let's see what he says. Without looking up, the wizard speaks. I'm glad you have finally made it to my tower. I have some information that you may find of great value. He finally looks up from his tone. The king was murdered with this! He indicates a bottle on the wall. It is a common magical poison which most people would recognize. Contact with the skin will paralyze a man, and if used in excessive amounts, it will kill in under an hour. A large dose was spilled on the king, and that is what killed him. Okay. Cool. What else do you have to say? Wizard watches you approach and notices you gazing at the creature in the pentagram. Ah, uh, yes. I see you have noticed my pet. Quite an oddity. The result of one of my many hobbies. Please excuse me. I'm, I must get back to my work. Wizard sits his workbench crushing strange leaves and herbs with a mortar and pestle. That's all. Are you enjoying old Tug of Warriors or Knights and Warriors episodes? <laughs> oh. You reach for one of the many objects on the shelf. Don't touch that. It could kill you in the blink of an eye, says the wizard without looking up. You pick it up anyway, don't you? No. We save first. And then we pick it up. We find a partially eaten sandwich. How could that kill me in the blink of an eye? I'm going to eat this. Other than the bits of mold, it's quite tasty. Sparkling dust? Oh, yeah. Crimson colored potion? That's a full heal. That's a full heal. So I'm now very swift. You will notice my stats. I have excelled to the level of very swift. Can't catch me. I'm very swift. All right, so this Blackstone door is a remaining mystery. So I found the pass here by very luckily searching, not in the top half of this window, but the bottom half of this window. Man, I hope there's not something in this black room, but there might be. Ah, screw it. Where's the stairs? Stairs? There we go. Go down. Don't go up. The pass, the bottom left of my inventory, will allow me to go to the other section of the castle I haven't explored yet. 
save. Guard steps aside to let you pass. Guard looks like he's struggling with his thoughts for a moment, then he lets you pass. Ooh, interesting. Two guards here. I think my amulet got one of them. Let's go into this room. Great oak shelves fill this room to the ceiling, and in every conceivable space a book has been stuffed. Packed so full is this library, the wood seems to groan under the weight. From the few titles you read, the subjects seem to cover everything from dark sorcery to farming techniques of the southern provinces. Oh, so this just looks like more books I can read in hopes of finding more spells to learn. Yeah, this is just more more spell books, but I think I already have all the spells. Look at all those spells. I got the heal, protection, flame, cure, slow, missile, blind, restore. I think I'm pretty well stocked on spells. Hey, Goaty, welcome. Mr. Quarantine himself. Before you, a large map has been tacked across a table, which has left little room to move about in the room. The lamps hanging from the ceiling brightly light the entire map, which shows details of the surrounding countryside. You distinctly see the castle, and also troop figurines in the north, and to the north and east of it. The far side of the room, standing intently at the map, is an armor-clad man. Who's this going to be? Oh, this has got to be Lord Talmer. No, Lord Charon. Never mind, this is a general. Battle-clad warrior looks up from the map. Good day, sir. I am the general of the king's army. Look at that freaking knight sprite. That's awesome. This is such perfect CGA color palette. Oh, I love it. I assume you're an investigator that I have heard about. I was told to tell you what I know about the murder. It is not too difficult, since I know nothing of it. <laughs> I left the castle at sundown on the night of the murder. Did not return till this morning. Inspector, begins the general, this does not have anything to do with the murder. But of the four heirs, I would like to see Lord Charon on the throne. He is an extremely efficient leader, so if you are allowed to vote, that should be the man you vote for. General glances up for a second, grunts a brief hello, turns to his map. Okay. That didn't help us at all. Man, there's so many more rooms to explore. Huge granite table fills the center of this chamber. Torchlight reflects off the low ceiling, revealing little else. So this is just a giant table. Floor and table are polished clean. That's it. Just a table. A room with a table. Nothing else. Need the password. Ah, oh, another password. I don't have it. That leads one path. That's fine. That narrows it down quite a bit. On either side of you, all down this hall, hang wondrous paintings. Some are portraits of famous persons, but the majority are depictions of past glories of the kingdom. Picture here depicts a battle. Also a battle, battle, battle. I search all these pictures. There's a painting of a man you don't recognize here. Portrait of a woman you don't recognize. See a painting of the Battle of Timog's Chasm. Oh yes. Portrait of the King. Let's go left. Stone floor of this room has been covered with burgundy rugs. There are a few overstuffed chairs and couches, but the most notable feature of the room is the large fresco painted on the west wall. 
depicts the castle as viewed from the city. It's a large couch. Tapestry depicts a large ship at sea. Find a small chest. No. I'm going to save and then open it. Of course, there's a creature. Guardian Demon. Cast Protection. Cast Blind. Fight. The Leviathan strikes. It grazes you. It receives a massive wound. Creature glares at you. You find it difficult to gather your thoughts. Uh-oh. My concentration is zero. How'd that happen? Killed it. Chainmail armor? No. Dusty bottle containing a dark liquid? No. Thick purple liquid? I don't know what that does. Golden horn. I'm going to blow that one too. I don't know what these horns are doing, but I've blown three of them now. Dark liquid? I think that poisons me. No, that one drops my strength. We do not want that. Restore. Whoops, I restored the wrong game. Restore slot five. Thick purple liquid. How thick is this? Ooh, your mind clears, you're more able to concentrate. Nice. Concentration must be like your spell points. Or your mana pool. So if I save... No. If I save under slot 6, I'm at 170 concentration. If I cast heal... Yeah. Down to 160. If I cast restore... Down to 120. So that costs 50. So I'm not going to heal. This room and the one that you see beyond are entirely empty. Thin layer of dust covers the floor. Huh? Whoa, whoa, I didn't even see... Okay, we got a seeker here. Let's fight it. Killed it. That was strange. I wasn't expecting to find anything, so I just blasted right past the description. We're going to restore. I got to read what that said. It's probably nothing important. It's just you face a seeker. He just fights. Is that a random encounter? Well, that must be a fixed one. See, down this corner it says you find nothing of interest, whereas up here it says search, you find nothing of interest. A slightly different message. Okay, well, let's check out the other rooms. Staircase going up. No, let's leave that for now. Let's go this way first. Marvelous works of arms and armor line the walls and racks in this large room. All types of Warcraft from dirks to full plate armor seem to be here. Take some full plate. Find a long sword. I'm not going to trade my weapon. I have a broad sword. There's a broad sword. I already have it. Scale mail armor. Is that what I have? I have banded mail. What's better? Is scale mail better than banded? What's even the difference? I'm going to take it. 
If I find full plate mail, I'm taking that. Short sword, no. Stiletto, no. So far, whoops, turn the descriptions on. So far it seems to me like all battle axe, oh yes. It seems like all of the combat is totally pointless. Whoops, fingers are on the wrong keys. Like, the only purpose of the combat is so that you can level up and do more combat, so that you can level up and do more combat, but then all of this exploration is totally unrelated to the combat. Maybe there's going to be a boss battle, though. Who knows? Let's go down here. This is more armor and weapons. Protection spell fades. Oh, that lasted for quite a while. The huge bellows is old and cracked. That's what that is. I see it. This must be an anvil. This is a furnace over here. Number of broken weapons and rusted tools lie on the table. Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm looking for a password up here. Tapestry of a mountain stream. Will you drink from the crystal fountain? No, but I will save and then drink from it. Doesn't seem to do anything, but let's cast restore, which puts my concentration to 120. You know, it doesn't seem to do anything. Soft, comfortable couch. <clears throat> Small, worn bed sits in the corner of this room. Several pale, threadbare tapestries hang on the walls. Fine layer of dust coats the floor and bed. There's nothing else in this room. Tapestry of a warrior. Table is bare. Tapestry depicts a heroic battle of the kingdom. Hmm. Large iron-bound chest. Save. Hulking figure materializes as you open the chest. Steal from my master. Face my wrath. Stone golem. I've, I should be able to crush him. Killed it. Corked gray bottle. No. Thick purple liquid. That restores my concentration. Full plate armor, yes. Two-handed sword, yes. What was the cork gray bottle? Whoops. Oh, that's right. This is another combat afterwards. Level 20. Dexterity is very swift. I think I'm fully geared. I don't see how I could get any better armor or weaponry. This bedroom is plain and simple. There is a bed, dresser, and an unadorned table, all of which are of the finest quality. You notice something shining under the corner of the bed. You reach down under the bed, pull out a crystal decanter. You open it and a foul mist flows out. You gag as you catch a sniff of it, quickly stopper the bottle. This could be poison. Three items now. So is this the killer's room? Tapestry of a ship on a stormy sea.
two people obviously share this smartly decorated bedroom since there are two wardrobe closets and a soft cozy double bed. The room also contains a table, a polished silver mirror, and expensive tapestries. Large tapestry of a forest. Is that strange mosaic patterns? Okay, not my taste, but... Wooden box. Oh, we got more combat here. So save, slot seven. Yes, open it. A gin. I've killed. Boom. One shot. Silvery cream. Smother that all over my body. Secrets of combat. Supernaturally healthy. Three. That must be what the silvery cream did. Nice. Hey, final technique. Yeah, this game is really cool. Little else but woman's attire in the cabinet. Legends of Murder. Basically, the story is there's a king. He got killed. We are an investigator sent here to figure out who killed him. Meanwhile, we're exploring this giant castle. And I'm sure you've noticed we are six six pixels <laughs> six pixels that's all we are we're exploring fighting monsters figuring out clues to try and see who killed the king this is a sparsely furnished room other than the bed table and wardrobe cabinet there's little else but books in the room these books which lie scat scattered about the room these books, Wick, lie, scattered about the room, seem to deal mainly with magic. The garments in the cabinet belong to a woman. So there's more spell books here. So you can just read spell books if you come across them. But I'm almost positive I've learned every spell in the game, so I'm not going to learn anything new reading those spell books. Small tome in the cabinet titled Demon, Devils, and the Undead. Huh. More spell books. A couple more rooms to go. Let's go to the right. No, let's go to the left first. Let's go straight ahead. It takes a moment for your eyes to adjust to the sunlight in this room. Your vision clears and you see that you are in a huge domed room with a wedge of the dome completely made of glass. The view from this observatory is breathtaking. A mile off to the west, sprawling to the north and south, lies the city of Erdwin. Beyond is the great northern sea. Large comfortable chairs here positioned for a perfect view. Hopefully, there aren't any NPCs in this room. Because the only way I would find them is if I walked into them. So I guess I could comb the room. Seems unlikely, though. Let's go this way. Most of the polished granite floor is covered with dark rugs. Several magnificent ivory statues stand about the periphery of the room and a large tapestry covers the west wall above the door. A huge ornate sword with a jeweled hilt rests on the wall above the majestic down-filled bed. An elf kneels to the left of the bed, observing something glittering on the floor. He gestures for you to come closer. Save. What do you want, elf? Tapestries of the Late Queen. Oh, this is the King's Room. Where are you, Elf? The Elf rises, faces you with a smile. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Inspector. I've heard many great things about your work. I am Ash, and I was previously the King's Advisor. As you probably realize, this is where the murder took place. It occurred near midnight, two days ago. 
and he was definitely killed by magic. A potion, I believe the wizard said. He was found with his legs on the bed and under the blanket, but his head and shoulders had slid down onto the floor. A rather awkward position. He was found by one of the guards who awoke from his untimely slumber an hour before dawn. You may need a password to access to get access to some areas of the castle. This week it's Cockatrice. Okay, write that down. I needed that password. Ash looks up from his notes. My investigation is almost complete. Did I have no idea who did it? I'll keep going over my notes and please continue your investigation. Come to me when you're finished so we can compare answers. Good luck. Hmm. Large iron bound chest. As soon as I open this, I'm going to get into combat. So let's get into combat. Hulking figure materializes as you open the chest. Steal from my master and face my wrath. Face a grim ghoul. This is a new monster. Let's just fight it. Just fight. Just fight. I lost my bonus HP. Combat's just like a dice roll. You just fight. I can cast spells here. Let's actually cast Missile. You hurl a mystic spear. The bolt hits the creature. You've killed it. Oh, nice. <gasps> Found Mirnig's blade. I don't know what a Mirnig is, but I'm going to take the blade. Enchanted blade armor, yes. Corked gray bottle. This is another combat if I open this. So we'll leave that there. Thick purple liquid. This restores my spell points. Uh, what's the deal with the 93 copyright despite this coming out in 89? I'm not sure. <laughs> this has this must be a re-release that I'm playing. But yeah, as far as I can tell as well, it came out before 1993. So I'm not sure why that's there. Let's open this. Fight the bone demon. Oh, killed it. I fought that extra encounter just to get another level. Thick purple liquid I don't need to drink yet. Level 24. Find a few books on ancient heroes. This room is full of expensive clothes and in the far corners are two shiny black boxes which seem out of place. Find many articles of clothing, many in military fashion, all of the best quality. You find, you, or you pick up a black box, open it to reveal an opaque black orb, the size of your fist. It's warm to the touch. What about the other one? Pick up a black box, open it to reveal a thin band of gold. Huh. Inventory's starting to fill up. This is a good sign. So let's save here, slot eight. If I talk to this advisor again, okay, he says the same thing. So I've done everything up here. Yeah. Did I go? Did I go down here? I'm sure I did. I did not. After a moment, the man realizes that someone else is in this room. I didn't even know there was a man in here myself. He jerks upright, tries to compose himself. Calming down, wiping the sweat from his brow, he says, I was just sorting through some of my things, looking for a quail. Now, if, if you'll excuse me. He walks briskly from the room. So earlier, we caught out of the corner of our eye a bald man crashing through the halls. I have not seen this guy anywhere else before large iron bound chests we got more combat here oh this is the very first time there's been a dragon leather silvery cream rub that dark liquid oh. 
Is dragon leather better than enchanted plate? Is there any way to know? I'm going to assume it's better than enchanted plate. Oh, I goofed. I didn't want to drink that. Dark liquid lowers your strength if you drink it. I guess I didn't go down here then. Large pillar supports the vaulted ceiling of this bedroom. Chamber is large, spacious, contains a beautifully carved, beautifully crafted wooden bed. Large iron chest, various other personal belongings. Tapestry of dancing wood elves. Looks like there's a chest here. Open. A lance? Uh, probably not. Dust, yes. Crimson potion, yeah, that's full heal. I'm already full health. Poison dagger, no. My dexterity went up to lightning. I lost health by drinking that potion. <laughs> I lost health. I was at over max health. Drinking the full heal dropped me down to max health. <laughs> oh, that's... This is a good game. Where's the, oh yeah, the stairs are down here. So we've obtained a password, so now I can go this way. Uh, it's Cockatrice. That is correct. This must be the final section of the castle. A large desk and chair occupy the southern portion of this room. There are several pieces of parchment and an ink pot and quill on the desk. Casual glance informs you that the documents concern the import of goods, mainly food from neighboring provinces. That's boring. Tapestry of the Harbor City. Discover nothing other than what you've already seen. Let's go to the right first. Oh boy. On the door before you is a line of ten stone keys. They're labeled from zero to nine. Below the keys, a note reads, enter identification code. Got one more puzzle, at least. I thought I was almost at the end, but not quite there. Sturdy ironclad door before you is locked. All right. We're backtracking. Ooh. Guard looks awkward for a moment, then says, Excuse me, sir. I feel that I should tell you this. It's been bothering me for a while, and I know the other guards won't talk about it. You impatiently tell them, get to the point of the matter. It happened the night of the murder. The East Hall Guard, the West Hall Guard, and I mysteriously fell asleep at about midnight. It was an unnatural sleep, I swear. Must have been magic, because I would never allow myself to fall asleep on duty. Of course you wouldn't. You are the Guard of the Year. So yeah, all the clues are still pointing to the wizard as the, the killer. This is the prince here. Looking slightly surprised, the prince says, The orb! That belongs... belong to the king. Shouldn't be handling that. It's a very powerful artifact for dispelling magic. We picked that and the ring up a number of days back. The orb works all the time, but the ring can only be used by mages. So I don't know why the king wanted them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there's a person here. Sasha seems to be on the verge of tears, picking up the pieces of a broken plate. Oh, clumsy me, she sobs. The plates are heavy and awkward in my hands, you know. 
Please don't mind me. Continue with your business. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. What else do we have? We got the jester down here. Let's talk to him again. I'm just going to talk to everybody again. Practicing his flips and tumbles. Nothing new there. There's nothing in this room. That's just the dining hall. Up here, there's a friar. Or a bishop, rather. He's just hanging out. Friar, I beat this guy up. I scared him. So he got up all startled and I punched him in the face and knocked him out. And that's, that's all that happens with him. <laughs> There's this strange crystal ball here. I don't know what to do with this yet. You run your hand across the cool, smooth surface of the globe, and as you do so, small sparks of light. Uh oh, I got a sneeze coming on. Yeah, you like this UI? I, I actually enjoy this UI. I think it's so cool. I love it when people do creative things like this. go up I'm gonna to talk to the mage or the wizard up here again plus he had a door in the top left corner of his room that I couldn't open there's a monster in the corner we're gonna save right here talk to the wizard again the band of gold you have there where did you get it he snaps then more softly I think that belongs to me I really doubt that it was given to you. Okay, he didn't take it though. So this band of gold makes the wizard very nervous. Must be like a way to seal his powers? Black door swings open as you draw near. You hear a click of talons on stone beyond the door. The sound stops and is followed by the leathery snapdragon wings. A small dragon snore soars from the small room and attacks fire drake and so I want to cast slow on him I want to cast protection on me I'm going to cast blind on him and we're going to just fight him he hasn't hit me yet this is a good sign receives a massive wound receives a massive wound it's it's gotta be almost dead there we go now what's in this room there's a wide marble basin filled with silver liquid on the floor before you the fumes from the liquid fill the room with a pungent odor and you soon feel slightly intoxicated uh, that doesn't actually oh I'm sup supernaturally healthy interesting So wait, touch the silver liquid, it's very cold, yet it feels nice on your fingertips. There's nothing in here, no code. Because there's the numbers, I need to find a set of 10 numbers to unlock a door but it must not be in here this is just a healing room okay creature's eyes have never left you since you've been in the room you are the ugliest sight these eyes have ever seen it says in a surprisingly articulate voice let's keep talking to this guy It rushes to the edge of the circle and stops as if it reached a pane of glass. Then suddenly it spits a small object at you. That ring may give a sap like you a little strength. Nice! It seems your novelty has worn off since the creature no longer stares at you. Six items, only three left. So I need a key and a passcode. Smooham, that would only make too much sense. 
We can't have that. The best games are ones where you are intently focused on a small corner of the screen the entire time. Everything else is just noise that you tune out. <clears throat> I can't help but feel like the numbers is going to be something that's not explicitly given to me. Which would be very frustrating. Like maybe one of these book titles is going to be the answer. Oh, hell, that can't be it. That'd be that'd be very silly. Let's revisit all the NPCs again now that I got this ring. Protection phase. Oh, something's happening here. As before, you, your touch creates the sparks of light. But this time, the core of the orb begins to mist over. The pale gray mists gather and swirl about. After a few moments, they dissipate, revealing the image of a pool of slimy, dark water. The orb focuses in on a far corner of the pool. Then, slowly, the image fades. You rest your hands on the globe, and again the mists gather, swirl, and then vanish leaving in its place the image of a short corridor. The view focuses in on a portion of the wall near the floor at the dead end of the hall. Okay. Orb is cold to the touch and no longer sparks. So I need to find a dead end hallway and search the floor. And I need to find a pool of dark water and search a corner of it. So up in the wizard's lab, there was silvery water, so that, that couldn't be it. Shouldn't be it, I should say. Could be it, but I don't think it is. And I searched that room pretty thoroughly. This guy's still knocked out. Dead end. This is just like the kitchen. This is a pantry. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's the dining hall. There's nothing here. It's the throne room. Jester doesn't say anything new. Check out the prince. He's right here. He's not saying anything. Couple dancing here. Hello again, says Lord Talmar, looking much more relaxed. Oh, this is, he said this before. I thought you might be interested to know, since you come from a foreign land, there are four men, of which one will soon be elected to rule this land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, I said all this before. What was to the right here? This is all the combat. This is the captain of the guard. Training hall. And this is the catacombs, which had like nothing in it. All that was down here was these... Oh, I missed this before. Coffin before you is obviously new, since unlike the others, it's not covered with mold. The casket lid has been removed, and the cold body within, clad in battle dress, lies very still, very dead. This is the king, and your search of the body reveals only a thin bruise running along the back of neck. No other bruises or lacerations. Oh, so I guess last time when I was wandering around here, I didn't step on the correct tile to get that message. Yep, you gotta stand right here to get that. So what's up here then?
This old coffin is covered with a thick green mold. By the dim lighting, you can read the engraving at the foot of the casket. It reads Queen Rael. I'm writing that down. It's 11 letters. I need a 10 digit password. So that's probably not important. But you never know. Uh, let's go back. This way? Yeah. Because there are dead ends here. Wait a minute. Is this the dead end hallway? Where before there was literally just a single monster chilling here? And that's it? Is that what the crystal ball was telling me about? No, it can't be. This is stairs going up. This is the armory to the right. Let's go up. Excuse me, snaps the man. I have work to do. I keep bumping into that guy everywhere, but I never actually stop and talk to him. Okay, maybe I will now. I will not amuse a peasant like you with what little information I know of a murder which will most likely never be solved, growls the man. Why don't you just talk to me, buddy? Oh, did he leave? Oh, there's somebody else here. See, the game doesn't tell you that there's people in these rooms. You just have to walk around and hope you bump into them. <laughs> Sometimes it tells you there's people. Not always. Stand before the lady a moment before she looks up in disgust. Excuse me, can't you see I'm reading? Go away. I'm going to talk to her some more. She stops reading and looks up as you approach. I can see that you're just going to keep bothering me until I talk. Well, I'll tell you what I know. By the way, I am Lady Rosalind. The king has humiliated and hurt more people than I care to mention. It is even rumored it is rumored that he has beaten and even slain people for their actions. About the murder, well, that night I was up reading, and strangely enough, I never heard anyone pass my door before midnight. A little after midnight, I heard something snap, then footsteps, a short scuffle, followed by a bottle breaking, then silence. I thought nothing of it. I've heard similar sounds from his room before, and I figured that he was just beating someone. <laughs> Felt that I was better off not to investigate. Fell asleep an hour or so later, and was awakened by guards sometime before dawn. I remember one other thing, Inspector, says Lady Rosalind. I find it quite strange. Before I fell asleep at about an hour after midnight, I heard a distant weeping. Okay. Interesting. What about this guy? Uh, he's not going to say anything. I found this bottle in this room here. I don't know whose rooms these are. Uh, there's the king's advisor right up here. He doesn't say anything new. Let me check the observatory before I leave. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything new here. Let's check the chairs. Nothing.
So somebody's room here, I don't know whose. Doesn't look like there's anyone here. Let's check these rooms again. Now I think what I need to do is get past those two locked doors now. Which were this direction. There's the pool of water. I need to get up there. Hey, stuck thread. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Two stream days in a row. That's what happens when everything is shut down and locked down. <laughs> There's nothing to do or nowhere to go. <laughs> On the door before you is a line of ten stone keys. They're labeled from zero to nine. Below the keys a note reads enter identification code. I have no clue how to solve this. I've been given nothing anywhere to even indicate anything to do with this. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten different keys. I assume that we need some combination of the ten. It's I'm not going to try and brute force that. Then over here is a sturdy ironclad door. These, these are the only places I haven't been yet. I feel like I need a key for that door first. And then possibly in there I'll get something that will direct me. Or at least give me a clue for the numbers. Well, this locked door leads to something out here. Whereas this other passage leads to this room, down this hallway, and there's a couple more rooms. Uh, there could be something in there, too. Let's talk to this guy again. Glances up for a second, grunts a brief hello, returns to his map. He's the general of the army. That guy's playing an RTS. Spell books in here. I'm hoping that the solution to this riddle isn't in one of these books. Because every time you search the pile of books, you get a random title. A lot of these had spells, which I've already learned. Speaking of spells, I don't have anything that could help me. Flame, no, these are all like combat and healing. Hmm. <laughs> no, you can't read the books, you just... Read the title and then put it back. This isn't Skyrim. This isn't Morrowind or whatever. Whatever Elder Scrolls game has literal novels inside it. Which I think is most of them actually. Alright, there's got to be one pixel I need to stand on and search. There's likely a key that I'm missing. Small chest. Why did I do this? Oh, this is just garbage items. There's all these paintings. Large ship at sea.
this room, the one that you see beyond, are entirely empty. All that was here was a monster in this corner, which I've already killed. There's a bunch of paintings here on the walls. Woman, man, some battle, king, battle, battle. What? What am I missing? Over here is the armory. I can search all these red pixels and find different weapons, but I'm pretty sure I have the best gear. Very sturdy anvil. Huh. I don't know. Save, slot one. Let's go back to the entrance hall. Cannot leave. Hmm. I'm trying to think of anywhere I've missed, but I've been everywhere I can go. These are suits of armor here, in case you can't tell by the five pixels there. The dancing couple. I don't think there's anything else in this giant black empty space. Nothing in the storeroom. Huh. Prince is just standing here staring into the shadows. Very morose. in the world am I supposed to do here? It's the throne room. Is there anybody up here? Beautifully carved chairs. The Joker, not the Jester, he's a Joker just doing flips. Find nothing but crumbs under the table. Let's search under these tables. I don't think I've done that. Hmm. Bishop is just ignoring me. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm missing here. Dragon in this room. I can just walk right past him. Maybe there's something down here. Man, I don't want to have to walk around and <laughs> examine every pixel of every floor tile. That would be the definition of tedious. But I get the feeling there's just a key somewhere that I missed and didn't pick up. Like, for example, right here. I first walked into this room a while ago now and search here. Excuse me. 
and the window is shut and secured from the inside. But if you go down here and search, you find this pass key. So there could be something else in this giant empty room here. Doesn't look like it, but who knows? More books I can read here, or nothing. Talk to the wizard again. Creature doesn't care about me anymore. Wizard doesn't care about me. Nothing on the shelf here. A large tapestry of a silver dragon flight. In this room, a wide marble basin filled with a silver liquid on the floor before you. There must have been something else in this room. That's got to be it. It's got to be this tiny, tiny room. Because what point would there be going and getting this black orb, coming all the way back here, opening this door, fighting a freaking dragon just to get a heal? when I have the full heal spell available to me. So walking in here brings me up to max health, max health plus three. But if I search this room, there's nothing of interest. We'll stand on every pixel in this room, get that mouse out of there. Wide marble basin, yep, that's the same text as when you first walk in. Touch the silver liquid, it's very cold, yet feels nice on your fingertips. I guess there is nothing in this room, it's just to heal your wounds. I have no idea what I'm missing. Uh, yeah, you're right, no beard. He's got a nice mustache and sausage links for hair. No beard, just a butt chin. <laughs> Nobody trusts the wizard. I've had a couple people say they think the wizard is the one who killed the king. I don't think it's the wizard, though. This is new text. I didn't walk on this single pixel before. This landing is bare of furniture and decoration. The only remarkable feature is the large window on the east wall. Through the window can be seen the vast plain and off to the north the shore of the northern sea. Okay. Dragon. I don't know what to do. What was over here? Nothing's over here. This is just a kitchen counter. A girl here. Uh, the dragon is guarding the wizard's chambers. And I had to solve a puzzle to get past him. Since it's already been solved, he just lets me pass now.
Well, it's got to be right here. This is the only thing that I could think of. Let's go 1993. But they haven't like given me any numbers anywhere throughout the game. The year is 492. That's not it. Those numbers to work for, to work with. But if there's no clues, then I'd just be guessing totally blind. I don't know how many numbers to input, how many it's looking for, any idea of what they would be, anything. I have no idea. Locked door. Did this game have a manual negative? It came with a little readme file. But the readme file doesn't help. Yeah, see the file stonedoll.txt for more detailed information. And uh, that that just tells you how to play, what these different stats mean. I'm thinking that I have missed, there's probably a specific NPC I haven't revisited yet that will give me the key that I'm looking for. And some of these NPCs are actually moving around, kind of. Like once I pick up new items in my inventory, NPCs, NPCs say different things to me. Plus those two guys in that first room were not always in that first room, I don't don't think. So they could also be kind of moving around. All this flavor text for these rooms is the same. Hmm. It's like nothing to even look at in this room. Room's got spell books, women's attire. Just the one book in there. I'm hoping I find a book that's titled, you know, 43899. It'll just obviously be the, <laughs> the code that I need to put in. That doesn't seem to be the case here. Let's 
go back to the king's bedroom. The scene of the crime. Um... Magnificent ivory statues, huge ornate sword with a jeweled hilt. An elf sits in a chair by the bed, thumbing through his notes. Two ivory carvings of dragons here, tapestry of birds in flight. Okay. Tapestry of the late queen. There's the king's bed. Right here is an elf. Ash looks up from his notes. My investigation is almost complete, yet I have no idea who did it. I'll keep going over my notes. Please continue your investigation. Come to me when you're finished. I'm not finished yet. I think I need the, the last three. Oh my god. There's a small gold trim desk here. You discover a few quills and some rough notes. Two in particular catch your attention. One reads Harbor Dock 7, the gold sprite, dated two days ago. The other has 443 written on it. <laughs> All right, we got some progress. This game is magical. I wasn't standing on the correct set of two pixels to see that the last two times I went in there. I guess the king's bedroom is the one place I didn't examine nearly as thoroughly as I should have. And so let's just do four, four, three. That's correct. New content. A faint smell of rotting wood washes over you as you enter the room. Torches smoke and sputter along the walls, and in this dim light, mere yards ahead, you see a huge orc observing you with interest. About him are the tools of his trade. Knives, racks, iron maidens, boiling oil over a fire, and other such marvels. That's gonna be a save, slot three. What's up, orc? The orc hefts his double-bladed axe and steps forward to attack. Really? Really? You, you want to you do it like this? We're going to cast blind on the orc. Going to cast slow on the orc. And we're just going to fight him. They grazed each other. Land a solid blow on him. I miss, it misses. Land a solid blow. Minor wound, it grazed me. I miss, it miss. I grazed, it missed. We both graze each other. Both miss, miss, graze each other. Oh, I'm actually taking damage here. We're grazing each other. Solid blow. Hey, Sinky Weasel Teats, thank you for the host. Welcome. Welcome to Legends of Murder, Stonedale Keep. This orc is actually a bit of a dick. So I'm gonna cast full heal. Boom. Killed it. Save, slot four. What was he hiding? It's an old torture rack here. Empty Iron Maiden. Many pincers. Pliers, pokers, needles, and such adorn this table. Small kettles of oil boil over the red hot embers. Iron manacles. A few scattered bones. What? Does this room only exist to give me combat with an orc? Searching all the pixels here. I don't see anything. Why would they do that? 
Yeah, oh, okay. Whoops, that's pretty neat. Trolled by the orc. <laughs> I should have known. There's got to be something in one of these little nooks. Oh, 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 oh. Found a key. We'll never know what that flavor text said, because I'm not going to restore my game. This room is cool and damp, and a gray slime coats the walls. The pool that occupies the greater part of the room is filled with murky dark water. There are no torches here, only the lamps from the hall light this chamber. Now I know, slot six, the crystal ball told me the corner has something. You thrust your arm deep into the slimy water. Something nibbles at your fingers as you grasp a number of smooth objects. You bring the three objects out of the muck, discover they're actually small, empty vials. Upon inspecting them, and finally, after taking a sniff of one of the vials, a feeling of sleepiness washes over you, then quickly goes away. So somebody used sleeping potion to cause the guards to fall asleep while they snuck up there and poisoned the king. Massive figure steps out from the dark room, bears his teeth and attacks. We got a troll. Cast protection. Cast slow. Cast blind. 40% concentration. Let's just fight now. I should be able to just destroy it. They can't hit me. This is riveting combat. It hasn't hit me yet, and I'm just like barely grazing it now and then. There we go. Killed it. Save. Slot 7. The smell of rot fills this room and seems to be coming from the straw in the cells. The jail bars are badly rusted and the locks are in need of repair. This jail seems to be old and unused, yet the floor is free of dust. Well, that's not a good sign. <coughs> that cell is empty. That cell is empty. You notice the lock and hinges of this cell are well oiled as are the blood-stained manacles inside the cell. Dangling almost invisibly from one of the manacles is a single strand of long blonde hair. Okay. I didn't get the hair though. This cell is empty. I guess that's it. Just making sure I didn't miss anything here. I'm surprised there's nothing to pick up. Fill my inventory all the way. Make sure I'm stepping on every single tile. I guess that's it. Let's save slot nine. Um, single blonde hair. I don't know who's a blonde. This is a CGA color palette. It's hard to tell. But now that I have the bottles and the key, I'm sure the NPCs will have new dialogue for me. So let's go revisit everybody. Um, there's nobody down here. Actually, I'm gonna go visit the king and the queen's dead corpses.
nothing new. Nothing new, okay. Let's go to the Jester. They're still dancing. The prince is right here, nothing new. Nothing from the Jester. Nothing from her. Just gotta make sure nobody says anything new. Bishop. Friar. Go up to the wizard up here. He might have something to say about this sleeping potion vials. Let's heal real quick. Whoops. Yeah, that healed me just walking in their heels. Oh, nothing to say. Nobody wants to talk. I guess we're going to head back to the king's chambers and talk to the inspector or the advisor. Come on, come on. Um, this way. He says nothing new, she says nothing. Yeah, nobody says anything different. All right, is this gonna be the end? Am I missing an item? The elf looks up. Do you know who the murderer is? Yeah. The elf rises, a triumphant smile on his face. I also know who the murderer is. Let's compare answers. Who do you think murdered the king? There's been one person creeping around. the halls of the castle. I haven't been able to interrogate him. He won't talk to me. That's Lord Charon. He's the bald guy. The entrance to this floor, he's just chilling there with his wife, I assume. He's very suspicious. The prince thinks it's Lord Charon. However, there was in the jails which have been used recently there was a single blonde hair and I think his wife was a blonde so I guess that would give him motive his wife was locked up down in the cells Could kill the king to free her I don't know the prince doesn't really have any motive although he's likely going to become the next king so that alone's enough motive but there's nothing really there to no clues that incriminate him. Nothing. The only clues I even have are this potion and the bottle. Somebody poisoned... Somebody put the guards to sleep with these sleeping spells. Somebody poisoned the king with his poison spell. Now, the wizard's one of the suspects. But he told me about the poison. And he seems to be preoccupied with his studies... I don't think it's the wizard. He doesn't have a beard, so that alone makes him suspicious. But there isn't really any motive there. And then there's the dancing couple. They're just dancing. It seems kind of weird to be dancing so soon after the king died. The guy gets nervous when you question him. I'm, I'm going to say it's Lord Charon. Oh. Well, that's not quite who I guessed. 
can't arrest both of them. Let's both review our notes. Come back in a few moments. We'll compare answers again. Store. <laughs> okay, my second guess is the dancing couple. Lord Talmer. Uh, that's not quite who I guessed. Alright, well, uh, either I'm not a very good sleuth, or maybe they didn't give me very good clues. Prince Morgan. Well, that's not quite who I guessed. Maybe it's the... Maybe it wasn't Charon. Maybe it was his girlfriend I don't think I have her name written down nice nice yeah it's not quite who I guessed all right turns out I have no clue who killed the king what was this gal's name see that's blonde hair Rosie Lind. It's probably her. Well, that's not quite who I guessed. <laughs> I'm getting fired. I'm getting fired here. The wizard? The mage? I guess it was him. Yes, I never got the wizard's name. Wizard. Mage. Maybe it was the jester. Oh, it was the jester the whole time. The last person I guessed. That's it. I believe we found the murderer. You both quickly seek out the Joker, and once cornered, he confesses. He's given a trial, and due to the conditions of the murder and the public's feelings towards the king, Sayor is sentenced to banishment from the country. He seems content to begin adventuring with his sister again. His sister? You stay for the crowning of Morgan, and he sees to your handsome reward for solving the murder. You leave the next day knowing the country is much better off due directly to your efforts. Thus ends the adventure. <laughs> there we go <laughs> just grade A adventuring sleuthing right there apparently the jester did it why I don't know he only exists to give you clues I guess he gives you a clue on how to get into the mage's chambers to try and, you know, shift blame onto him. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, cool. I guess I can't really overanalyze a plot that's not there. <laughs> oh, I missed an item under a bed somewhere. Oh, must not have been too important. Maybe it was like a bell off the jester's little jingly hat. All right, uh, let's stop the timer. Three and a half hours, not bad. I mean, it was a pretty cool game. Not gonna lie. I just wish they would have actually had a mystery to solve, but unless I just was totally thrown off there. Part two? Look at this. We got Grey Have right here. Grey Have. Legends of Murder 2. Legends of Murder Volume 2. Grey Haven. I'm not going to play this right now, but I have it. Somehow, this game, the sequel, was released three years before the one we just played. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The six pixels return. <laughs> I 
I have it. I'm not going to play it, though. In fact, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I will be back to play another game. I'm going to play something totally different. I'll show you guys. Do, 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 do. Let me just find it real quick. Where did I put it? Do do do. I probably should organize this a little bit better. There it is. Go to pictures, go to game box 